Hello, and welcome to the St. Andrew Apostles School School Speak tutorial for getting started and logging in. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your email, and you are going to have an email from St. Andrew 20902 at gmail.com, and it will have all of your login instructions right here. You're going to want to write down your login and your username, and then your password. Here it does give you the direct link to go straight to our portal, but for some reason if that doesn't work, there is a link here, or you could also go to the St. Andrew Page website. This is the St. Andrew School website, and if you go to Frequently Used Links and click on School Speak, it will go ahead and take you straight to your login. So you can go ahead and type in your login and your password. and click log in. If you are using your own computer and it's not a shared computer, you can certainly go ahead and click remember me and that it will automatically log you in for up to two weeks. If it's a shared computer, we recommend that you not use that button. So you can go ahead and click log in and then it comes to your home screen. This or home page. Your home page is organized into two columns, the left margin and the white content area. The white area content area gives you any new and relevant information or important information that we want to highlight for you. The part here on the left side are links that are always going to be available to you and um, you can always click either on this link or the link here in the white content page. They will both take you to the same places. But if you do not see something in the white content area, it will appear here in the left area. For most of the pages in School Speak, by default, the display gives you today's date. So this My Home screen is now giving me any messages that are tagged for today, August 14th. If you would like to change the date, say you want to go ahead and do a look back for some reason, you forgot what the homework was for last week, or you want to go ahead and possibly look ahead, you can certainly go ahead and do that by changing the date here in this field. Using School Speak is really easy and I think you're going to find it very intuitive. You'll see here on the white content area that if you on some spots there are these little more buttons. If you go ahead and click the more, it'll actually go in and give you more information. If for some reason you kind of get quote unquote lost in these screens, you can always go back up here to home and it will bring you back to your home button. You can certainly use your back browser as well if, if you need to. Okay, let's see what else here. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do when you do log in is you are going to want to go ahead and edit your profile. So please make sure you view the tutorial on that. That's a separate tutorial. We're not going to go over that today. But if you do need to edit your profile, you would do that right up here. And again, we already did do the come home button. And if for some reason you get completely lost and you need to contact us, you can certainly do that here. Um, it gives us an information, the email if you're having issues with school speak, and then certainly it gives you a little template here that you can go ahead and put in um, whatever it is, you know, your issue you're having. But let's go back to home. You'll see here um, that you can be part of several different groups within the school environment. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are pretending that we have a mother, a father, a son, and a daughter. One is in kindergarten and one is in third grade. So you can see here, um, and I'm actually happen to be logged in as the test mother, I am part of the school environment. So anything that's tagged for the whole school to see, you will see in this area. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll see here that um, I'm part of the kindergarten group, which happens to be Mrs. Miller this year. And you'll be able to see any if she's posted any messages for us, homework, any specific things with the kindergarten calendar, um, report cards will be posted here, and whatnot. Um, right now, we don't have any test information in any of the grades. But then, as I scroll down here, I can also see for third grade, which is Ms. Leahy, 
and any information related specifically to third grade would appear in this area. Now, if I'm part of any specific groups and they have pages set up like Karate Club or CYO Soccer, those would certainly be here if you were to keep scrolling down. Um, but for these purposes today, we don't have those set up. The first thing I'd like to show you is the school directory. So here, if you click to the school members tab, you can go to the member list, a student list, or a member search. Um, if you click the member list, what's going to show up first? It's going to give you the members of the school. So pretty much everybody who teaches or is associated with St. Andrews School is going to appear here in this list. And it's also going to tell you what group they are a part of and if there's any associations, if they have other people associated with their profile. You can certainly use this drop down to change the group. Say you only want to see teachers, you could do that here and it'll change just so you can only see the teachers. Um, if you go ahead and you click on the particular name, then you'll see their information here. Um, first and last name, um, you know, if uh, what their relationship to the school is, and then what school part, groups that they're members of. I'm going to go back to members here. Um, I'm going to do a member search. So say I wanted to do a search for um, the Zarellis. I can click the last name and do a search. And here are all of the profiles associated with the Zarellis. You can see that there's a Cecilia who's going to be in kindergarten, um, myself as the admin, a parent, a parent, and then Nathan, another student. And you can see all of the associations that come up with them. If you go ahead and you click on the person's name, you will again see all of the information that comes up and is relevant for them. Now going back to home, um, if you wanted to only view the folks in a particular grade, you could scroll down here um, to the, say, kindergarten area, and I could click members and do the member list, and then I would see all of the folks who are associated with the kindergarten group. I could see the students um, and their associations. Obviously here, um, for the purposes of this demo, we've hid all of the addresses and phone numbers, but you can see here in this test person that happens to be in kindergarten, you can also see their address and their telephone numbers. Um, we did talk about homework. You can quickly jump to the homework section. Right now there is no homework displayed since it is the summer, but if you go ahead and change the dates, certainly you can look at homework that the teacher has posted. Let's see if there's other interesting things here for you to take a look at. I'm going to go back home. Um, here, um, certainly the Knights in the Know, the weekly newsletter is um, something that's important that you're going to want to check out on a weekly basis. You'll see it here right now in the white content area, but you'll always see the links over here on the side. You can report your service hours, you could order Friday pizza lunch, um, we have the carnival coming up so you can get tickets, you can volunteer, and we do have separate tutorials for those activities. Um, you can order spirit wear straight through here if there's any particular announcements. Um, you know, or anything like that, we can certainly go ahead and go straight here. Um, there's a message about CYO fall soccer um, and whatnot. And I think that is the short of it. Um, a couple of tips and tricks for you. School Speak really works best when you're using Safari through Apple, Chrome, and the Internet Explorer browsers. It does get stuck using Firefox for one reason or another. Um, you know, again, you can always come back to home if you tend to get lost in here. You can always contact us if you're having some significant issues. Um, we will be accepting payments this year through PayPal, and we're working on getting that set up so you won't any longer have to send in little $2 checks for pizza lunch on Fridays. And um, that's it. Um, but thank you for joining and we hope you enjoy using SchoolSpeak. Thank you.